What's going on guys, The Barber Phil here back again with another haircut tutorial and in today's cut we're going to be doing a massive transformation. We're doing a mid to high bald fade, hard part comb over. This is actually a cousin of mine but as you can tell he is not a regular to the shop. This is about four months of growth. That's alright though, gives me plenty of content, plenty of hair to work with. Let me work my magic and we'll get him cleaned up and sent on his way. This is a huge way to finish off 2020. Ready to put this here behind me and look forward to 2021 and the growth to come. So what we're going to do first here, we're going to saturate the hair, really comb it down into place, comb it forward if it needs to go forward, down to the side if it needs to go down to the side. I'm going to use the wide tooth side of my comb to create some uh, deeper lines through here so that we can get a nice section. Use the fine tooth side of my comb to really pull that hair down or up in whatever direction it needs to go. And then we're going to use the clipper over comb technique just to go ahead and set in a rough draft on the shelf or the weight that we're wanting to leave. Uh, we're going to carry this all the way around because this is one, it's going to leave us a nice shelf on the hard part side, but then on this side here where the weight from that top is going to fall down into, it's going to leave a nice little shelf there for that, that hair to, um, to gradually lay down into as well. Now what I did there, I had the new um, cordless detailers to my station. We tapped in that bald line and then I turned that trimmer over, flicked that line out immediately. That just uh, eliminates any back end work later on trying to remove out bald lines. And then here, like I said in a recent video, this is one of my newer clippers that I'm just messing around with. This is a cordless magic clip with an Auster fast feed blade and then the ceramic standard cutting blade. And what I've got is it basically wide open. I'm starting just below where that bald section was put in at and I'm coming up flush to the head and then coming out just where the, the head allows that blade to kind of float off the head. That's where I'm coming out at. Now what I've got here, a closed metal magic clip with the ceramic cutting blade. This is the stagger tooth cutting blade. We started with it closed, flicked out that bottom uh, detailer line and then we're going to gradually open it up little by little as we go up fade out that open section and then it's a nice transition there from the FX is all the way at the bottom up through this open section now all we're going to do is try to start lightening up this dark area here I'm going to start things off by doing a two guard up and off and then you'll notice I do come in above that with a three guard we're really just wanting to float it through there I don't want to take this too flush to his head and eliminate all this weight that we did leave but i do want to start to lighten up this dark area here in the middle as well and we're just going to do that little by little th uh, two guard then a three guard just above just above that and then we'll come back in connect it all together with that one guard and probably a zero just to detail it out So here's that one guard. I'm gonna start with it closed just to really flick through there, try to go ahead and eliminate that open section if, if we can, just to be time efficient. Uh, and to tell whether or not on that other side, if we can go ahead and skip some steps, it's always best to, to try to learn from one side to the other. And it did pretty well there. Now all we'll need to do is come in with a zero guard below this and really work out that bottom line. So like I said, you're going to follow up that one guard with the closed zero guard here. And we're really just going to make sure that every time we come up through here, every stroke that we take, we're going to make sure that we flick out at the top. That's going to really eliminate any harsh lines or back end work that you would have to, that would cause you to push this fade up any higher and stuff like that. Now I'm going to come back in, try to do a little bit more detail work. This is the one and a half guard with the Andy's purple guard set. Just really trying to make sure that we have this. Uh, cut to color as best we can. He does have very thick hair and it's very dark So the cutting to color was a big deal and you'll notice on the other side uh, I did have a little bit of trouble with This area here on the opposite side where the hard parts at 
we we worked at it we did our best and then you know it's all we can do using the fx's to really detail out his c cup here and then from there we'll get into that other side and i'll let this ride for a minute So hopefully you guys can tell from this angle how much weight I am trying to leave with this clipper over comb technique. Obviously back in the crown area I'm angling that down instead of keeping it parallel to his hard part because we want to make sure we leave enough weight for that crown area to really lay down. If you cut it too short it's going to want to spring up. If you leave it too long then you've got issues there as well to where sometimes you know if you have clients that don't fix their hair much at all if you leave the crown too long. You know that can cause some issues as well because they don't know exactly which way that hair needs to be going but what we did there same exact steps on the other side we took that detailer tapped in that bald line flipped it over and we flicked that line out initially and then we came in with the fx balded everything out below it just so we can get a nice clean canvas here and then i'm doing the same step as i did on the other side taking this open Auster fast speed blade and I am coming straight up and off and making sure that we let that blade just kind of uh, roll off his head wherever it wants to round off at there. And so this is going to give us a nice um, section here for that open section to start with. And we can come in just below it, use the metal magic clip with that lever all the way closed and then slowly work that lever open, fading up through that open section that we initially did. From there, we can go ahead and start detailing out and fading out the darker areas and weight there above. So we're gonna come in here, same as we did on the other side. I'm gonna start things off with a three guard on this side just to um, go ahead and do that and we'll, we'll work our way down we'll start with this lever all the way closed making sure that we really flick out at the top let that guard just come through up and off at the top uh, i did drop down to the one guard here and we're just going to try to flick out that bottom line a little bit we'll come in back in with the zero guard and really detail that bottom out but this one guard we're going to open and close the lever flick up through that way and this is the side that i said i had a little bit of trouble with uh, here's the zero guard finishing out that bottom section. I'm going to grab the FX's, go ahead and use a fine tooth comb that really holds the hair in place and I'm going to pull that top over to the right, making sure that we leave uh, a nice clear view of the hard part. Tap that FX line down through there, making sure that we hit the bottom of that line and the top part coming at that, that hard part from both angles. We'll do a nice little uh, vertical bar corner there and then go ahead and clean out the C cup it's right there in the corner that I was saying I had some issue it from this hair being as dark as it is this area that I'm hitting with clipper over comb is the area that ultimately ended up being darker than what uh, it needed to be but I felt like if I took it much shorter it was gonna be there wasn't gonna be any weight so it was it was a weird uh, scenario there to where I could have taken off more to cut the color more but then it would have really it would have been too tight on the sides and I didn't like the way that looked either so I ultimately just left it the way it was there now here's something new that I was trying to do uh, on top I'm basically combing in sections back towards this back corner so that no matter how his hair falls it's never overhanging uh, the back and it's never overhanging on the right side like an undercut and then what I'll do is I'll pull from the previous section into the next section as a guide and work my way from left to right and then also from um, work towards the back as well so that it doesn't overhang and I really like the way that that turned out now we're just basically going to clean up the beard and do a couple quick simple steps there this is with two guard down with the growth of the hair now we're going to come in two guard up against the growth of the hair about the bottom of the ear and then and work your way up that's a one and a half guard start with it open and then you close it slowly as you work your way up then you close you take the guard off you open that lever all the way up you're about mid ear at that point and then you close it until you fade it out up into that that um, FX 
FX section from that top fade. And then here, you're just gonna use the FX's, really put a nice sharp line on the back of the beard. Clean up the beard a little bit more on the sides and then go ahead and put a nice rough draft on the that top line. Get it as nice and sharp as we can. Really use that corner of your blade to get a nice curved edge. And then we'll start cleaning up underneath. So for that bottom line underneath beards, what I like to do is have my client tilt their head back and then I go at an angle from the longest length out below the chin there back down towards uh, wherever I choose to do that underneath line. You don't want to take it too high uh, and take it up to the jawline, but you don't want to leave it too low because then they, it looks like they have a, a, a messy neck. Unless they have a very large beard, you can usually do that right at or above the Adam's apple. Mine, I believe, is right above the Adam's apple, about a finger's length above, finger's width above the Adam's apple. So that's generally where I go at it. And then we're gonna go ahead, opposite side here, do the same steps, clean up the back of the beard, put a nice sharp line there, take that two guard down with the growth of the hair, flip it around, do the two guard up from about the bottom of the ear, up through the top of that taper. Then you could do the one and a half, take that guard off, do an open, no guard, half open, closed, as you slowly work your way up. And then from there, if you need to finish off or detail anything else, you can use the half guard. come back in with the FX's here go ahead and try to match up that top line as best we can with the other side always make sure you turn the client to where you can look at them head on and make sure that you can point out where that curve comes down to the mustache area and even that out on both sides and then also you should be able to tell the actual way the line is curved sometimes you can uh, you can not have one side curved nearly as much as the other side and that is noticeable so make sure you look at them head on or turn them towards the mirror make sure that that looks even and especially when it comes to that underneath line you don't want that to be lopsided as well because that can make one side of the beard appear bigger than the other and then what we did there we used the uh, gamma uno shaver uh, that is perfect for doing what i did there which is just clean up just above the line get all that extra cheek hair out of the way so that we can come in Use our exposed blade razor, stretch that skin, hold the razor at a 45 degree angle, and bring it back to the line. I am dry shaving him here, so we're going to get a nice sharp line right off the bat. And then we're going to add a little bit of texture or um, blow drying spray, I guess you, you, you will. You always want to apply some type of um, protection to the hair if you're going to be blow dry styling it, because you don't want to dry your hair out or fry the ends or anything, so we applied a little bit of that using our vent brush and our Dyson blow dryer, really trying to work that brush um, through the hair and allow the air to flow underneath and really get it nice and dry and sh into the shape that we're going for. Everything's going off to the side and then the front is coming back. And it, I think it turned out really well, especially that side that the, the hair is gonna blend over into on the right. And then what I did here, I just came through with my 13T um, blending shears and his hair is very thick, all we're gonna do I'm going to hit the very top half inch or so, one, uh, just one snip right through there. It's going to texture out the top a little bit. It's going to lighten it up some, uh, not make it nearly as thick. And then we're going to apply some pomade, obviously making sure that you apply some to that hard part side. You want that to be nice and, um, and laying down as well. Take your comb like I always do. I have two sided combs here. One is more fine tooth, and I use that to really get that pomade worked all the way down through evenly in the hair. And then I'll turn it over. I'll use that wide tooth side, and that's going to give more of like a finger, like a finger, loose finger look, I guess, if you will, um, which is what I prefer when it comes to comb overs and stuff like that. You know, you work everything towards one side, and then you take that corner where the hard part is, and you bring all that hair back over, and that's how you get that front end with a, a lot of volume to it. So 
that about does it for this tutorial guys as you can tell well overdue much needed haircut I hope I did him justice I do actually stop him here right at the end of the haircut there's a spot in the back left corner that I did go ahead and try to lighten up a little bit but as always guys take a second hit me up in that comment section let me know what you thought about this tutorial did I do him justice did I save his life I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to decide Go ahead if you haven't subscribed, and like I've been saying, 65% of my viewers are not subscribed. If you're one of those 65%, I encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, that way you never miss another video from me. Sunday and Wednesday is the schedule as always. Remember guys, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And until the next video guys, y'all be safe at the new year, 2021. Here we come.